Okay, this video is the only thing standing between me and Indian food right now, so let's make this quick. What's up guys, I'm Royce and you're watching Ipsy Dixit, a channel documenting my experience as an online doctoral student. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here, it really helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, a quick show of hands. Who uses Microsoft Word to write papers? Anyone? Euler? Do people even still get that reference? I think the last time I actually saw that movie was like 20 years ago. Okay, Microsoft Word. It's great. Kinda. Actually, if Microsoft Word has one thing going for it, it's truth in advertising. It's made by Microsoft and it's used to write words. There's some kind of genius in that simplicity. But I'm not here to talk about Microsoft Word. I'm here to talk about why you should stop using it. Let's rewind a little bit to see how I got here. When I was beginning my PhD, I was looking for a better way to organize my paper writing so I didn't have 243 Word windows all open at the same time. When I did my master's, staying organized was really challenging because I was always trying to find the right Word window. So I asked the internet what to do. Actually, I asked Google, but aren't Google and the internet pretty much the same thing nowadays? Anyways, I stumbled across two writing applications, one called Scrivener and the other called Ulysses, and they're both designed to help you organize and write serious projects. Wait, 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 don't tune out. They're helpful for any kind of writing, even writing for a vlog. As a matter of fact, I used Scrivener to prepare this vlog. I went back and forth between Ulysses and Scrivener and Ulysses and Scrivener trying to figure out which one would better suit my needs. In the end, I chose Scrivener because of its superior organization capabilities. But be sure to do research for yourself to see which one has the features that meets your needs most. Just one note to add to help you in your research, Ulysses only works on Mac, so if you've got Windows, Sorry. All right, let's dive into Scrivener and see why it's so awesome. When you open it up, it gives you a lot of options. There are tutorials and templates, and at this point it would be a good idea to go through the tutorial because there are so many customizable options. Actually, I think it's a little bit too customizable, and that has been my biggest complaint with Scrivener, is that there are so many choices it almost makes it overwhelming. Okay, but back to why it's so great. It allows you to divide and subdivide and subdivide and subdivide and subdivide your writing into as many sections as you want. And the key takeaway here is that there is a completely separate research section to organize all of your notes and research. This was the clincher for me. So when I'm writing a research paper, I can just organize my research under the headings that I create. Once I've got everything in there that I need, I can view them as note cards and organize and sort them. Now that I've got the research looking the way that I want it to, I can move to the writing section and start actually writing the paper. The main advantage of this is that the research is organized chronologically in the order that I wanna put it in the paper. So I've got a window up with my writing and then I've got a window right next to it or beneath it that has the research. And so I write, I add my research. I write, I add my research. And there's no question of what's coming next because it's all organized for me right there. You can move sections around and reorder ideas on the fly. There's really a lot of flexibility. But like I said before, the main reason I got Scrivener was so I could neatly organize all my research so it would be ready for writing. Okay, I know I said at the beginning of this video that you should stop using Word and I may have exaggerated a little bit because Scrivener is not really good at producing a final product. You've got to export it from Scrivener, or at least I do, and I put it in Word, and I do all my final formatting there, adding page numbers, adding the margins, and Bob's your uncle. There's also a really cool way to get citations to automatically populate in Zotero, but that's for another video. One final note, Scrivener is not free, but it comes with a pretty great trial version that lasted me probably 90 days. The way it works, it only counts a trial for the day that you have it open, and so if you put your computer to sleep and you don't quit it, it only counts it as one day, so that's how I ended up using it for a really long time. Anyways, even if they change that bug, I think the trial is officially 30 days. 30 days is more than enough time to know if this is gonna benefit you or not, so I really encourage you, check it out, see if it helps you improve your writing workflow. I know it has for me. Let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions about Scrivener, I've been using it about a year now. Also check me out on Instagram, my handle's PhDJourney, and over there I'm just talking about the day-to-day -day struggle of being an online student in a busy world. Do you use Scrivener or Ulysses or maybe another application that I haven't heard about? What do you like about them? Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.